So let's dive into the origins and development of lawn darts, also known as jarts, which took the world by storm in the 1970s and 1980s. This outdoor game had a simple premise. Players would toss large metal tip darts into the air, aiming to land them inside a target circle on the ground. Sounds like harmless fun. Well, not quite. The design of these darts was a major factor in their dangerous nature. They were typically made of metal or heavy plastic, weighing around 12 ounces, and featured a sharp pointed tip. This made them capable of piercing through the air with great force and, unfortunately, also made them quite hazardous. The problem with jarts was that they combined the thrill of a competitive game with the unpredictability of a flying projectile. Players would often misjudge their throws, leading to darts veering off course and potentially causing serious injury to those in the vicinity. As a result, it wasn't long before reports of accidents and injuries associated with the game began to surface. Despite their dangerous design, lawn darts continued to grow in popularity throughout the 1970s and 1980s with manufacturers producing millions of sets to keep up with demand. This craze was fueled by the excitement of participating in a high-risk activity, as well as the lack of awareness surrounding the potential dangers of the game. In summary, the development and popularity of lawn darts can be attributed to their simple yet thrilling gameplay. However, it was the dangerous designs of the darts themselves that would ultimately lead to the numerous injuries and incidents associated with the game. As we'll see in the next section, these accidents would eventually catch the attention of authorities and pave the way for the game's ban. Now, let's take a closer look at the various types of injuries and incidents involving lawn darts. It's important to understand the severity and frequency of these accidents as they played a crucial role in the game's eventual ban. Between 1970 and 1988, there were over 6,000 reported incidents in the United States involving lawn darts. These accidents ranged from minor cuts and bruises to severe puncture wounds and even fatalities. The sharp metal tips of the darts could easily penetrate human flesh, causing life-threatening injuries, particularly when they struck the head or other vital organs. One such tragic incident occurred in 1987 when a seven-year-old girl was struck in the head by a lawn dart during a family gathering. Sadly, she passed away due to her injuries. This heartbreaking event garnered national attention and sparked a movement to ban the dangerous game. The frequency of accidents involving long darts was alarmingly high given the game's widespread popularity at the time. With millions of sets sold and countless backyard games taking place, it was becoming increasingly clear that something needed to be done to protect the public from the hazards associated with lawn darts. Ultimately, these accidents and the growing awareness of the dangers posed by lawn darts led to increasing pressure on authorities to take action. In the next section, we'll discuss the legal and regulatory process that culminated in the 1988 ban of lawn darts in the United States. Let's now explore the legal and regulatory process that led to the 1988 ban of lawn darts in the United States. A key player in this process was the Consumer Product Safety Commission, 
an independent federal agency responsible for protecting consumers from dangerous products. In the years leading up to the ban, the CPSC had already been keeping a close eye on lawn darts due to the numerous reported injuries. However, it was the tragic death of the seven-year-old girl in 1987 that truly galvanized the agency to take action. And following this incident, the CPSC worked quickly to gather evidence and build a case against lawn darts, setting the thousands of injuries and several fatalities linked to the game. The agency argued that lawn darts posed an unreasonable risk of injury and death to consumers, particularly children, and that the gang should be banned. In April 1988, the CPSC voted unanimously to ban the sale of lawn darts in the United States. The ban went into effect on December 19, 1988, making it illegal to manufacture, sell, or distribute lawn darts in the country. Additionally, the CPSC issued a recall of all lawn dart sets, urging consumers to destroy or dispose of them safely. Most, the ban on long darts was a significant milestone in the history of consumer safety regulation in the United States. It demonstrated the power of the CPSC to take swift and decisive action against dangerous products, even those that were wildly popular at the time. In the next section, we'll delve into the ongoing fascination with lawn darts as a risky pastime, including underground games and collectors and the potential consequences of continuing to play with these dangerous toys. Moving on, let's analyze the ongoing fascination with lawn darts as a risky pastime, even after their ban in 1988. Despite the well-documented dangers and the game's illegal status in the United States, lawn darts continue to attract a niche following, including underground games and collectors. One reason for this fascination is the element of danger that lawn darts inherently possess. The thrill of participating in a high-risk activity can be enticing to some individuals who may view the game as an adrenaline bumping challenge. For others, the nostalgia of playing lawn darts during their heyday in the 1970s and 1980s might be a driving factor for their continued interest. Underground games of lawn darts still take place in various locations, often organized through word of mouth or online communities. Participants in these games knowingly accept the risks associated with the dangerous projectiles, willingly choosing to engage in a game that has been deemed too hazardous for public consumption. Additionally, some collectors seek out vintage lawn dart sets, valuing them as relics from a bygone era. And while some collectors may display these sets as memorabilia, Others might still use them for gameplay, disregarding the potential danger. It's crucial to understand that continuing to play with long darts poses serious risks. The potential consequences of participating in these dangerous games include severe injuries or even fatalities, as evidenced by the numerous incidents that led to the game's ban in the first place. In the final section, will examine the impact of the lawn darts ban on toy safety regulations in the broader conversation about the balance between consumer choice and government intervention in the name of public safety. Finally, let's examine the impact of the lawn darts ban on toy safety regulations and the broader conversation about the balance between consumer choice and government intervention in the name of public safety. The lawn darts ban demonstrated that the government, through agencies like the CPSC, has a responsibility to protect consumers from dangerous products, 
even when those products are popular and widely enjoyed. The ban set a precedent for the CPSC to take decisive action against other hazardous toys and products in the future, reinforcing the importance of prioritizing public safety over consumer choice when it comes to potentially dangerous items. Following the lawn darts ban, the CPSC continued to focus on toy safety, implementing stricter regulations and guidelines for manufacturers. These efforts aim to reduce the risk of injury and ensure that toys sold in the market adhere to certain safety standards. The lawn darts case served as a powerful reminder of the potential consequences of failing to adequately regulate hazardous products. The ban also sparked a broader conversation about the balance between consumer choice and government intervention. Some argue that individuals should have the freedom to choose what products they use, even if those products carry inherent risks. Others maintain that the government has a duty to protect citizens from harmful products, particularly when the potential for severe injury or death is high. In conclusion, the long darts ban had a significant impact on toy safety regulations and ignited a debate on the role of government intervention in protecting public safety. While opinions may differ in the balance between consumer choice and government regulation, the Long Darts case serves as a sobering reminder of the potential dangers lurking in seemingly innocent pastimes and the importance of prioritizing safety above all.